Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd Ayyul Ahabba From the types of modesty that Shaykh al-Islam Ibn al-Qayyum mentioned In his discussion about the various types of modesty We reach the fifth uh, aspect or the fifth type of modesty that he mentioned rahimahullah ta'ala and he said the modesty of embarrassment this is similar to the modesty of Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu when he was too embarrassed to ask the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself about the pre-seminal discharge he was experiencing because he was married to his daughter so this is a type of, medis, uh, uh, of modesty ayu al habba that we find that Ali ibn Abi Talib anhu, that he illustrated and he was very shy and he was excessive or he had a lot of pre-seminal discharge or pre, uh, pre-ejaculation and, and, and due to this that he had a lot of this condition Allah, that he felt shyness because he was married to the daughter of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so this was a type of embarrassment and this was a, an, an, a, an attribute which uh, the believer possesses and the believer should strive to possess. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who have shyness, who have modesty, and who, who, who are embarrassed for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not for the sake of uh, um, affairs of this dunya, affairs that have no benefit for us. Another, the sixth type of modesty that Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned he said the modesty of low self-worth he said this is similar to the modesty of the slave in front of his lord when he asked him for his needs knowing that he doesn't deserve it in a narration of Bani Israel Musa alayhi salatu wasalam said O Lord a need or desire of this life arises and I'm too modest to ask you for it O Lord so Allah responded to him by saying, ask me for whatever you like, whether it is the salt for your dough or the fodder for your herd. And it is possible that this is because of two things. So Shaykh al-Islam ibn Qayyum, ibn al-Qayyum said, mentioned two things, two fawaid from this, uh, this uh, narration about Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. And he said, uh, the, the first, the questioner deeming himself to be unworthy while considering the gravity of his sins and mistakes. So this is the first reason why a person, ayu al habba might find shyness in asking for what, asking from their Lord. It's due to their own sins and they know they're not worthy. And the second thing, ayu al habba that uh, Shaykh al-Islam Ibn al-Qayyum mentioned, he said the magnitude of what he is asking for. So the second reason why a slave might feel shyness is because they feel that what they are uh, asking for is so great. Or maybe they feel that the, what they're asking for is so little that it's not something worthy of asking for. But ayu al habba ask your Lord. And as the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, a dua hu ibadah, that supplication is worship. So worship your Lord through supplicating and asking for your needs. And having the shyness that is uh, befitting of the believer. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with that shyness and bless us to be of those who ask our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala because verily our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala does not, is not shy of the haq. As was mentioned in a hadith, inna allaha la yastahi min al haq. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of the mu'mineen and of those people who exhibit modesty which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.